So, who will be the next CEO at Intel? Yesterday we reported Intel CEO Brian Krasanich is out for a relationship with an employee that violated company policy. Nothing from the company yet on the process except the statement yesterday that they will be using a search firm looking both internally and externally. But this is a good opportunity to look at the challenges of the company and who might be a fit as the next CEO. I've been covering the company for a long time and have been thinking about possible external candidates. Could Intel poach from a rival? Lisa Sue over at AMD has that mix of technology acumen and management chops, though I can't imagine Intel going to its chief rival for a new leader. Diane Green, chief of cloud at Google, also a board member at Alphabet, would be an interesting choice. She's the founder of VMware, very much on top of the data center and AI transformations that are changing Intel's business. And then there are the former Intel folks who I think are particularly interesting. Renee James was originally Krasanich's number two at Intel. She's now the CEO of startup Ampere Computing. Diane Bryant, former Intel chief technology officer, is Diane Green's number two at Google right now after leaving Intel less than a year ago. All that brings me to Pat Gelsinger, CEO of VMware. He's interesting not only because he was a CTO at Intel, he's also running VMware for the past five years, building a deep leadership bench, which Intel needs. He's an executive, uh, he's been ex executing visionary M&A and grappling with the various sorts of cloud and AI challenges Intel also faces. Intel's got kind of a strong culture, needs somebody who gets that but can also pull it ahead. We'll see who the board at Intel either pulls in or brings up. You, you picked four women to look at and I one man. Thought. Are you trying to tell us something? <laughs> yes. Seem to be a lot of qualified women out there. That's nice. <laughs> it is a great thing. I just yeah. wonder if you think there's intelligence on which way they may go. No, no. I just, I, you know, I was compiling my list of, of you know, former Intelers who have uh, technology experience, who are uh, well-known hands-on executives and happen to come up with a bunch of women, which, hey, kind of cool. It's also worth noting that shares of Intel are higher today. They're up almost 1%. Um, and what was sort of overlooked, I guess you could say, in, in this news, this leadership uh, shakeup news, was the fact that they did raise their guidance. So. Yes. Yes. And I Intel has been uh, running with a plan that has been working. And I think the question is, strategically, with all these new pieces that have been bolted onto Intel, a couple of the biggest acquisitions ever Chris Anich has done, who can keep that going and figure out what they should be grabbing onto next? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.